Today's horoscope from Astro Academy. One of the most important factors when understanding the zodiac signs is to pay attention to their celestial ruler. For you, sweet Venus is the key planet to understand the depths of your soul. Venus is a soft, sensual planet, encouraging you to take life slowly and experience each moment fully. It is also the planet of romance, marriage, harmony, and pleasure, so, of course, these energies naturally come to you with ease. Embrace your most romantic side now as you choose to be indulgent and hedonistic. There's no time like the present. Research your options. New financial avenues could open up when the moon enters Gemini. The lunar energy will encourage you to consider all options and possibilities. Since the lunar energy will have a divergent effect, you might have a chance to go after a few financial options at once. For example, this could be the right time to take on a side gig on top of your current job. It could also be looking at new options to finance your money to increase your abundance. Regardless, get more information on your opportunities before committing. It is halfway between the sun's departure from your work sector last week and Venus return next week, that the moon makes a well-timed return to your income sector. As well as returning to ensure your nose for money is sharp in the heart of the working week and as you prepare to move into the new month, this is a chance to get a sense of where the money is before Venus, the planet of money returns to steer work and job matters in a lucrative direction. Today's celestial atmosphere gives you a chance to lick your wounds, and you should. Don't let your negative feelings go unnoticed, or they will quite likely return with an even uglier face. Pay attention to what comes up for you in the next couple days and investigate the source. To keep you focused and centered, try to get out for a walk a couple of times a day. Fill up your water glass whenever you think of it. This period is going to be rich in events and very good for success, notably if you are setting up a project having anything to do with union. Indeed, if you can create a new professional association or arrange a marriage this would be the best time to do it. The vibrations of this period will be encouraging you very strongly to undertake such projects. Even if work is at the center of your preoccupations, this very concrete day will allow you to rapidly get tangible results. The moon is not only still in Taurus after yesterday's eclipsing full moon but is just one of the reasons why there could still be a lot of intensity today. As a lunar eclipse, this was a more potent version of the full moon that will always fall at the halfway point in each solar and always while the sun is in your relationship sector. It is their clash that creates the full moon but, in the process, a clash between your personal and relationship needs can make both more transparent. The difference this time is not just the additional potency but that planets in Taurus and your relationship sector are already fighting to find the right balance. The edge might be coming off yesterday's eclipsing full moon in Taurus but both the moon and the planets here are still at odds with those in your relationship sector. This is putting a balance between your personal and relationship needs under pressure but as Mercury and Mars, the planets of communication and passion align in your relationship sector this is helping to turn this into motivation. Our eyes in the sky. Before leaving an intuitive and imaginative part of your chart today the moon will spend its final hours at a friendly aspect to Pluto in your financial sector, as it does with each monthly visit. The difference is that this is their first encounter since Pluto turned direct and as he will be leaving again in January, this will give you an intuitive sense that the tide has turned as well as a chance to look to the future with confidence. It is just as the moon is wrapping up the weekend's eclipsing full moon in your career sector with a friendly aspect to Pluto in your work sector that Venus, in her last full week in your income sector moves into a friendly aspect to Uranus on the career front. This wraps up an important few days across the income, work and career fronts but with things continuing to evolve as Venus not only works to make her final days as lucrative as possible but to leave you with something that you can commit to. It is just before leaving your work sector and wrapping up the weekend's eclipsing full moon that the moon will spend its final hours at a friendly aspect to Pluto, for the first time since his direct turn in your income sector. 
With the brakes off this allows the tail end of the wave this has created to give income potential a nudge just as Venus, the planet of money is working to make the most of her last full week in your career sector. A tendency to push yourself forward creates an adverse impression with the people you meet. Even if it's not intentional, your attitude disrupts any potential for things to run smoothly. Try to restrain yourself. Otherwise, you're unlikely to impress anyone since your boastful manner makes you seem conceited and unapproachable. As you cannot know what the future holds and things can change quickly, prepare to be flexible, also in financial matters. You might suffer unpleasant consequences if you make a big investment or acquisition now. If you're given this advice, remain skeptical and take some time to consider, as the information might not be the best. The moon moves from Taurus to Gemini today. This lunar switch allows us to discuss the events that unfolded during the lunar eclipse. If the eclipse energy is making a situation cause emotional hurt of some kind, Eta Euro S important to let out any pent-up emotions while discussing it with friends. The more you hold things in, the harder it will be to release the energy and move past it. It is halfway between the sun's departure from your work sector last week and Venus return next week, that the moon makes a well-timed return to your income sector. As well as returning to ensure your nose for money is sharp in the heart of the working week and as you prepare to move into the new month, this is a chance to get a sense of where the money is before Venus, the planet of money returns to steer work and job matters in a lucrative direction. It's hard to bring your feelings under control calmly and rationally if you don't you make decisions you later come to regret. Conversely, if you're normally a calm person, who keeps their feelings to themselves, it is easier for you to show them, enabling you to create clarity, to deepen and improve on any personal relationships in which you're involved. If you plan to make some financial transactions, wait a little and think things over at your leisure. There are some obstacles in the way that prevent the matter being handled as smoothly as you imagined. Even though you'd like to buy something, far better to wait if you want a favorable outcome. Be careful with your health and avoid pushing yourself too far. Circumstances sometimes result in greater difficulties arising than you might expect, and for this reason you need to save and ration your energy. Take a step back, don't get unduly stressed, being too ambitious doesn't help you achieve your goal.